What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back on match day. We play, we play Lecce uh, tonight, um, we play and Inter do not play in Serie A. That's probably the biggest story of the weekend because they are in Saudi Arabia playing the Supercoppa, I think. I think it's Saudi Arabia. Um, so we will have a game in hand going into uh, the Inter game in, in about two weeks now. Uh, which could be man mentally a big thing, depending on what you will do today and at home against Empoli. That's basically it. Uh, so we're going to preview it. Keep in mind, I'm recording it before Allegri's presser. So if I say things and then he comes out with injury news, whatever, let's hope not. Uh, keep that in mind. I recorded it beforehand. Uh, so uh, that's that. But we will go into... Leche, you know, we will dive a little bit in some fun stuff. Actually, I found I found um, I found an hilarious one, to be honest, uh, and it's about uh, Yildiz. So stay tuned for that, and uh, yeah, subscribe to the channel, hit that like button. Let's go for a preview. Let's go for seventy likes. That should be easy on a Sunday. So push the like button, and let's jump straight into uh, a fun one. Okay, so we play Lecce. Um, we played them very early on the season when they were... Were they top of the league? They were up there. They were like first or, or, or second, something like that. Uh, I think they won four games in a row or like something like that. And it was the big the big game, excuse me, quote unquote. And we we did beat... We, be, we did beat them, excuse me. And I thought we beat them in a... In a... In a comfortable way it wasn't a good game you know it wasn't a good game you know and we kind of struggled to break them down but we won the game you know and at the end of the day that's what we have been doing all season um they obviously dropped off ever since but they're doing much better than i think a, a lot of you would have taught me personally especially at home i will go, i will show you that in a minute because i i did found some uh, fun stats about that on the right, the comparison between us and Lecce. We are the green, by the way. Uh, obviously, we have more uh, goals. The shots and the crosses are very similar. Long balls, again, like, uh, like we played Sassuolo, a lot of similarities. But obviously, the shots conceded and, uh, and the, the goals conceded, excuse me, are uh, much, much better for us, um, which is a normal thing, I guess. You know, we're, we're second in the league and they are... 13th in the league? I wrote it down. Are they 13th? Uh, they are 13th in the league. And I think they have like 21 points. Um, but there are some sim similarities, you know, especially the upper uh, corner, like the upper part of the graphic, um, which is interesting. We will see in a minute uh, why. But Lecce at home are, are not a team you're going to walk over. Like you're not going to get there and just beat him down that's just not gonna happen or like it doesn't actually happen um and we usually we do we do not do that as well like <laughs> you can look it up this season we do not walk over any team uh in the league basically yeah there is the odd game Lazio Udinese but other than that you know we we do it the tough way basically and let you out is like away is gonna be a tough game because um I, like, I cannot recall good games at Lecce. Like, I cannot recall good games at Verona. Like, there are some outliners, but, like, usually we do not play well uh, at these grounds. Genoa way, like, we do not do very well at these grounds. Um, but let's look into what they uh, what they offer, Lecce. So, on the season, 20 games played, obviously, like, 21 points. Uh, but at home, you know, we need to focus at home. Uh, they only lost two games at home, you know, 10 games played, only two losses at home. That's, that's just, that's just very good. You know, you know, away from home, terrible, <laughs> terrible, five draws, five L's, no wins, uh, away from home. However, at home, they have been playing very well. And to be honest, uh, let me, let me check because, um, here we go. Uh, because I wrote it down uh, at home because everybody was like, who did they beat at home? Or who did, did they play at home? Excuse me. They won against Lazio, 2-1. They won against Sanitana, 2-0. They beat Genoa, 1-0. Then they lost to us. They lost against Napoli, 4-0. That's very long away, especially for Napoli at this point. Uh, they drew Sassuolo. 
they drew Milan at home, they drew Bologna at home, they won against Frosinone, they drew Cagliari, and then that's it. So they did play tough games at home. It's not that they're a walkover team. Yes, the 4 0 against Napoli, but I think at this moment in time, nobody can believe that actually happened, but it did happen. Um, but yeah, like, like points per, per game, per, uh, points at home per game, 1.6. That's that's good, man. That's good for for Lecce team. Uh, away from home, it's terrible. <laughs> it is terrible, but we play them away, uh, away. so we play them uh, at their ground, and they're a good home team. They're actually a very good home team, and I was very skeptical coming into the season when it com- came to Lecce. Like, I looked at the team, and I was like, oof. That's not really that well, you know. Um, however, just look at comparisons to when they were in Syria. So, they are doing much, much better. Like, they are doing much better, you know. One point more, five points more compared to 22. Five points more compared to 20, uh, 12. Two points, like, more than uh, 11. And, and actually... I've, I think everybody remembers that uh, season as well. Uh, the the 11-1, one, uh, 12 one when the Buffon almost of everybody thought he would have cost us a title at home at Lecce uh, with that massive blunder. But they're doing better. Like They're doing better than a lot of people would have probably uh, imagined, me included. Uh, and that's because at home, they're a very good side. You know, they're a very good side. And that's what probably is keeping potentially keeping them up this season. Away from home is... It's not going to save them, but being strong at home is what probably potentially uh, could keep keep them in the league. And they're not doing it against the quote unquote bad sides as well. So credit to him, credit to them, excuse me, Um, at home. As you can see, like I said, 1.6 points per game at home, 40% win rate, four wins, four draws, two losses. Goal scored. They scored a goal per game. They score a goal at home every single game. However, they concede basically a goal, a goal at home every single game. That's just just basically what it is. Uh, the clean sheets, well, it, it is what it is. You know, it's worse than the, it's better than the Leaf average. Excuse me, um, it, it's worse. Excuse me, uh, but that is something you kind of expect from Lecce. You know, because you expect teams like Lecce to concede more goals than you know that the average team basically and that's what's just basically happening so no surprises here in those uh, ratings and those numbers uh, but the surprise is at home tough team man like it's not going to be a walkover you know so keep that in mind um, and then the goals uh, 12 at home scored 12 away conceded same 12 conceded at home and they scored 12 you know Um it's <sighs> like if you go if you come out of that game basically and you do not concede and obviously that four 0 against uh, Napoli kind of helped to bump this up a little bit as well. Like you need to keep that into consideration as well. I think it's going to be a very low scoring uh, game. I really do believe that. Uh, I will give my prediction later on. Um, but it's from what I've seen from Lecce at home. They're a tough team. They, they make it very ugly. Like <laughs> They make it, which you might say, well, that suits us. But they make it very ugly for teams to go there and beat them down. They they really do. you know. And they make it very tough as well. Um, I watched the, the, the game at home against Bologna. I watched the game at home against Milan. T- like, not fun to watch. Like, I'm not going to lie. It wasn't fun to watch at all. That Milan game was crazy, by the way. But it wasn't fun to watch at all. However, throughout those games, I looked at that Bologna team. I looked at that Milan team. I'm like, oh my god, <laughs> that's that's not easy. You know, it's 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 rough. It's 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 ugly. You know, they do not let you be very comfortable on the ball, and I think that will not suit us in certain areas of the pitch, depending on the choices that are being made. However, it's a team we need to beat. That's that's just the main point. We need to beat Lecce. Like I said, we will have a game in hand on Inter if we go to the to the Meazza to play that big game. But now you have Lecce and you have Impoli. You cannot slip up up to that Inter game because that's that's so important. Just on 
the mental aspect so we cannot slip up tomorrow we cannot absolute today excuse me we cannot slip up at all today um because that's just a no-go that's just a no-go um and then i have some fun things uh i i, I think were fun when i was looking into uh, some of the Leche uh, metrics, uh, the crosses, uh, we're the green one, by the way, uh, <laughs> no surprise, uh, but I saw a lot of sim sim similarities in crosses per game, you know, we do, um, we do play a lot of them, and in certain games, you can see it's, it's kind of through the roof, I'm not going to say the success, su success rate is up to standard, I think we have to, had that discussion, uh, already, you know, we have a player like Kostic who is not getting it done with the crosses, which is very weird because that's his MO, that's his big thing. So like, I'm confused with it, to be honest. Um, but like I said, look at the first part of the graphic. It's very similar uh, on many occasions, you know. And now the fun one, uh, because I was looking at this. I was looking at dribbles. We let you are six in the league for dribbles. And we're 13th in the league for dribbles. And I was thinking about it. And I was like, it's it's not it's not that crazy if, when you think about it, you know, um, because of the players we play. That's why I don't think it's that, you know, difficult. Because we play some games with McKenny, We play a lot of game with Kostic. And, you know, the dribbles are mostly done uh, on those positions, especially for us. So I wasn't really... Shocked. I was shocked that Lecce was that were that high. I really, <laughs> I really was shocked. You know, um, and to be honest, Lecce are technically a better team than you would think Lecce would be, or like you would think a team like Lecce or a team in general playing in for those positions would be. You know, that's that needs to be said as well. Um, and I was like, it is that low, but let me look uh, deeper into it, and then I found this one and. I just laughed. <laughs> I couldn't like when I saw that. I was like, I was like, okay. Um, Banda three point two. Who, by the way, is at the Africa Cup with Zambia, so he he will not be there um, as well. Or or the info I looked up you know, for the Zambia call up uh, wasn't uh, correct, but he is at the Africa Cup. But then I, I looked at ours and I was like, Yildiz Miretti Keen, and I was like. I know it's per 90 minutes. I know it's like if, if you had, like if there's a big old sample size for other teams, for other players, excuse me, to mess it up or pump it up. <laughs> well, when I saw that, I was like, damn, these players never play or like compared to others. Yes, he this emerged last couple of games, but like if you look at the, the whole season, I was shocked. Like I was just shocked. I was like, yield this <laughs> he's up there three successful dribbles per 90 minutes i don't know how many minutes he had like i didn't look that up let's say 91 let's say about 320 minutes did yield this play i think a bit more probably you know we played uh like 60 60 180 no probably it's gonna be something like that you know 350 three, something like that so that's that's a lot that's a lot that's very Good. <laughs> Excuse me. That's a lot. That's very good. You know, it is very good. I think nobody's shocked about Yildiz because when you see, when you see him play, it's very obvious that he does certain things that would suggest that he's getting those successful dribbles. But Miretti, I, I do was uh, I, I was surprised, and then Moiskin, who is out of the door and actually hasn't played well as well. So you can say yes, it's a it's a you know it's not a big sample size for these players. But then I looked up who was uh, underneath it, and it was Rabiot, who plays a lot, you know, and he was on 1.8, and all the rest, like, was so low below, even the game, the, the players who played a lot, you know, like the Kiezas, they were not nowhere near, near to Banda, by the way, you know, so that was a fun one, when I when I looked it up, which is good to have uh, Yildiz in the team, because we need, like, in certain moments, you need to try to beat your man, you know, if you remember Codrado last season, that was an absolute disaster. Forward passes, um, Leche, <laughs> Leche, are beating us in the, in that as well, and that doesn't include the back line just bopping it around. You know, it it it's it's from a certain area, um, on the pitch, uh, as well. But again, you know, I think when I saw that, I was like, wow, 
Like I know how we play, so I wasn't really, I wasn't surprised by our number. I was surprised by Lecce's numbers because they were they're seven in the league for forward passes, and I thought that was interesting. I, I thought that was very interesting, you know, uh, not from our perspective again, because I accept the way we play, I accept the way we uh, do things. Actually, I um, I looked up how our uh, forward passes before uh, the new year. So before the last four games, we were at, um, no, we were 16 in the league and we were at 28, 28 and a bit. So the pro- forward passes do went up. They, they, they went up and that's because we play with different players. We had two Coppa Italia games, suspensions, injuries. We put different players in and that goes up as well. Like I said so many times, quality of players, it does matter 100% as well, you know. Uh, but Lecce, I was uh, a bit surprised. Big chances created, I brought it up because Banda has five and he's not going to be there. He's at the Africa Cup. Uh, Odin has also five. Uh, Kostic, nine. I cannot recall the nine ones. Like, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'm so confused. When I saw Kostic, I, I, when I saw, I know Kostic has nine because you see that stat on Twitter every single day when people have a debate about Kostic. I cannot believe he has nine like because he's not playing well. So I'm, I'm blanking out a lot of things, you know, and maybe I'm biased, uh, but everybody can see Kostic not playing well, but he has nine. He has nine and that's, that's wow. And even Milik, five, five. I... You don't associate that with Milik. So that's why when I saw that, I was like, which game? You know, <laughs> what What did I miss? But five is, is quite a lot, you know, for a player like Milik who doesn't play often, let's, let us say often. Uh, I thought that was quite impressive. So five uh, for them. But the Banda one was kind of the one I, I wanted to show, to be honest. And then the back line, like I said, the Lecce goalkeeper, quite decent. You know, three saves a game, um, concedes one a game. You know, but it's Lecce, so I don't think there are big, big surprises when it comes to that one. Um, that's a bit of fun, you know, looking into uh, Lecce, 13 in the league, 21 points. You know, we, we all know that. Now it's the big thing, you know, it's the preview. It's uh, the preview. It's a lineup, excuse me. Uh, I think everybody is um, waiting for that one. Keep in mind, again, I'm recording this before Allegri has his presser. So I'm going off. Everybody's fit. I'm going off what I think is going to happen slash what should potentially happen. Um, so Chesney and goal. Uh, no surprises here. Um, I think, obviously, Bremer is going to start as usual. Um, Gatti is going to come into the team again. I think Gatti is coming into the team again and Danilo will start. I saw some rumors about Alexander starting. Uh, that better cannot be the case because he shouldn't be in the starting 11 if we're being 100% honest with ourselves. And now it becomes a bit more technical. Uh, obviously, Locatelli, I'll put him there and I'll put uh, Rabiot in there because, uh, well, I think that's very obvious why. So those two are in there and now it becomes tricky because last week I was like, Kostic is going to start 100%. Now I'm looking at it, I'm like, Will Allegri finally make that decision and say you are not playing? You know, will he make that decision? I'm not so sure about that. You know, I'm not so sure about that. Um, I think he played him on the weekend. He played him in the Coppa Italia. He played him against Sassuolo. You know, and then when he made the subs again, you know, it, it's. It, it, I don't know what. His ideas with Kostic. I have actually no idea what his Kostic ideas. I hope he hopes. I think it, it finally pops off, but it's not. It's not coming off. Uh, McKenny is back, so I think Kostic is going to start. McKenny is back. Um, I think he will be straight in the lineup. Um, I don't think Wea is going to play. I think he is going to play uh, Cambiaso on the right hand side. So that's what I think is going to happen. Oops. Let me put him there. Kostic, let me put him there. And then up top, that's that's the big question. Now, what I will do, and I will explain why, before people do get angry, Flavic and Yildiz. And I will explain why. 
because from the latest news and from Allegri's quotes this far, I'm gathering that Chiesa is not 100% fit to play 90 minutes, you know, a full game. Okay. At that point, I'm from the opinion you play the player that's hot and that's healed is. You play him from the start and you bring Chiesa from the bench when the game is a bit, you know, different, tired players. You bring players, you bring Chiesa in. I'd rather have Allegri doing that than Allegri playing Chiesa, who's not 100% fit, and then put in Yildiz, who is playing very good, and you bring him from the bench, basically. I'd rather have you start Yildiz, who's playing very well, he deserves to start as well, and you play you bring in Chiesa, who's not 100% fit, to change the game if needed, or even if not needed, you bring him in, because I think mentally for Yildiz, that will go a long way, because again, he knows I'm playing well, I get to start now, but also for Chiesa, because he knows that I need to prove myself when I get those minutes because I've been out of rotation for a, a couple of weeks now and Neil is, is playing very well. So it's only fair that I need to show up. That's one. But you keep both of them happy because Chiesa probably knows I'm not fit enough to start a game. So you bring him in to make an impact. That's what I will be doing, to be honest. I will, I will start Yildiz, I will start Vlaovic, and I will bring in Chiesa to have that impact. That's just my opinion. Not saying, oh, you'd never play start Chiesa again, but just for... The Lecce game and just from the latest reports, updates, news, whatever you want to call it, that's what I would do personally. Um, now, like I always love to do, is I'll give a, a quick rating what I think is needed to win that game. Um, it shouldn't be the case, but I think this should be enough against Lecce. We shouldn't be giving up a lot of chances against Lecce. It needs to be a solid performance. Oh, that's a that's a. <laughs> That's uh that's not a good six, and that's even worse. That's a six. Uh six point five. I think this should be should be doing the trick. Here I expect a lot from Locatelli in this game. I do. Um to control that midfield because we need that midfield. I'm expecting this these type of performances. That's that's a six, by the way. Seven and just a six from Kostic, and I would already be happy because that would be a massive improvement for, for over what he was showing uh, very lately. And that doesn't even need to be an assist, just link up play, build up play, everything. It's gonna look different again, you know. No Midetti, and uh, no like the dynamics of our game and movements will be very static. It is what it is, it will change, and uh, we just need to accept that. But that's the lineup I think is gonna be out there, slash what I want, whatever you want to call it. Those are my predicted uh, scores. Now, ratings, excuse me. Now, my, my score, my score prediction, it's 1-0. I think we're going to win 1-0. I think it's going to be a very, very tough game. I think it's going to be a very ugly game. We cannot go down against Lecce because, like I said, they, they, like, they're not a team that lose easily at home. You know, they're not. They make it tough. So, we can absolutely go, do not go down a goal at Lecce, but I do believe we're going to win 1-0 with a goal from Vlaovic, and um, I'll take it, I'll take it, because I need to get, with a winning win streak, you know, from now, until Empoli, into that Inter game, that's what we need, I don't really care how we do it, because we, we need to do it, and then against Inter, that's where it will go down, so that's my preview, it's a very long one, again, recorded before I did the espresso, so keep that in mind, that's it for me. Like the video. Let's push you. What did I say at the beginning? I forgot. It's a very long preview. Let's say 85 likes. Let me know in the comments your score prediction. And I will see you guys post game. Ciao.